Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss four protocols related to VLAN security or wireless local area network security. And these protocols are WEP, WPA, WPA2, and WPA3. WEP stands for Wide Equivalence Privacy and WPA stands for Wireless Protected Access. Now, just deploying firewall that the perimeter of your uh, network is not sufficient due to insider threats. And moreover, if an organization is using VLAN, then this effect is more pronounced because now a hacker does not need to connect to a physical port and he just has to access the signals of VLAN in the air. Now the purpose of VLAN security is to encrypt the traffic till wireless access point and after the wireless access point this traffic may or may not be encrypted depending upon your uh, network design. So I will discuss four VLAN security protocols. The first protocol is the wireless equivalence privacy and it was introduced in 1999 uh, uh, and it was actually an optional protocol in 802.11. So 802.11 actually introduced two kinds of authentication. One was the open system authentication. It means that a wireless device does not need to authenticate itself uh, while connecting to a VLAN. And the second uh, type of authentication was the shared key authentication and web was part of shared key authentication. And actually uh, the purpose of web was to introduce the same level of uh, security as with the wired LAN. So its name is therefore wired equivalence privacy. So uh, the purpose was to stop a uh, hacker to sniff the wireless traffic and also to control access to while success point. So web uses RC4 uh, stream cipher for confidentiality and this RC4 actually uses a pre-shared static 64-bit uh, or 128-bit key and this key is for every host and it means that it is same for every host. Moreover it also uses a cyclic redundancy check for integrity of uh, the data. Now RC4 is not secure and actually poor implementation of RC4 initialization vector may reveal uh, the RC4 key and it is said that this RC4 is crackable within one minute. Uh, one proof is of uh, a famous breach of TGX retailer in 2007 and actually this breach was due to the uh, web because they were using the web uh, in their organization and it led to compromise of 45 million customer data. Now this uh, protocol is deprecated by IEEE. Uh, then uh, the Wi-Fi Alliance introduced uh, WPA or wireless protected access in 2003 as a quick fix uh, to the vulnerabilities found in the web. So actually the devices uh, which were using web, their firmware got upgraded uh, by this uh, WPA uh, that was the firmware of uh, the wireless network interface card uh, in those uh, devices. But these devices, uh, actually very few devices were able to upgrade their firmware due to the uh, resource requirement of this WPA protocol. But this uh, WP also uh, uses RC4, but this time uh, it uses per host key. That is, the key is different for every host. Moreover, it also uses uh, Temporal Key Integrity Protocol or TKIP. And this protocol uh, actually uh, is for the integrity check or for the per packet basis. And it uses 128-bit key. Moreover, it also uses uh, a message integrity code uh, in TKIP and this message integrity code is known as uh, Michael. Moreover, it also uses a sequence counter to uh, defend itself against uh, re, uh, the re, uh, sniffing or the man in the middle tag. Cisco also improved this uh, TKIP by introducing leap or lightweight extensible authentication protocol. Now this uh, WPA is also not secure 
because it uses a single static passphrase and they say that this passphrase must be of 14 characters uh, and it should be complex but even then it is uh, vulnerable to brute force attack and TKRP and uh, leap uh, are uh, vulnerable to attack and this attack is known as co w p a t t y and moreover leap is also found vulnerable to an attack in 2004 and this attack was known as a sleep now w p a 2 uh, was introduced in 2000 uh, for actually uh, this WPA2 is not uh, an enhancement to WPA it is actually a totally a different protocol and it is known as 802.11i or ro robust security network or RSN so WPA2 uh, was totally different from WPA because it uses 128-bit AES uh, key and as part of CCMP and this AES is a block cipher whereas RC4 was a stream cipher and stream cipher are less secure but more efficient than block cipher but less secure uh, so it uses free shared key of 128-bit now in 2017 uh, uh, an attack was found against WPA2 and this attack is known as crack and actually this attack is the key reinstallation attack against WPA2 and it actually exploits the four-way handshake of WPA2 to, uh, WPA2 and it uh, forces uh, WPA2 to use an old key or key with all zeros but this vulnerability is also patched and a uh, uh, patch is issued now Wi-Fi Alliance certificate is required uh, for WPA2 for uh, in order to enable the Wi-Fi trademark so if a device wants to enable uh, the uh, or a vendor wants to enable a Wi-Fi trademark or wants to use the Wi-Fi trademark then uh, he has to get a certificate for, for, uh, for WPA2 compliance from the Wi-Fi uh, Alliance but actually the low-end devices are are still using WPA because they cannot use uh, WPA2 due to the computational requirement. Now, in January 2018, Wi-Fi Alliance introduced the uh, the uh, improvement to WPA that is WPA3, and actually this WPA3 uses 128-bit key in personal mode and 192-bit key in enterprise mode. And moreover, it also uses uh, the uh, simultaneous. Uh, uh, actually, uh, you have to Google it. But actually, this uh, this protocol SAE, I suppose it is simul uh, uh, simultaneous authentication of equals. Yes, it is simul uh, simultaneous authentication of equals, and actually, it uses a. Uh, Password, it is a password authentication using Daffy Hellman and this Daffy Hellman is actually uh, based on public key cryptography or asymmetric actually it is an asymmetric protocol that is uh, there are uh, different keys uh, uh, private or public key and one key is public and other key is private which is only you uh, known to uh, one person or one device and moreover, this WPA3 introduced the forward sector C, and this forward sector C actually keeps the session key secure even if your, the private key is uh, compromised. So it also resolves uh, the pa weak password issues. Moreover, it can also configure or, or manage the devices. Uh, which does not have any display interface so now this was all from my side uh, please stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you